In this video we will use De Morgan's theorem in order to simplify this expression. So we have cos 2 theta plus iota sin 2 theta raised to the power 5 multiplied by cos 3 theta minus iota sin 3 theta raised to the power 6 all over cos 4 theta minus iota sin 4 theta raised to the power 7 multiplied by cos 5 theta plus iota sin 5 theta raised to the power 8 and we have to simplify this expression. So we will use De Morgan's theorem which is cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta. So in uh, De Morgan's theorem we can see that if we have a power n of cos theta plus iota sin theta then this power will become the coefficient of this angle or we can say that we will multiply this power n by theta. So we have cos n theta and plus iota sin n theta. And also uh, in order to apply this theorem uh, we have plus sign between cos theta and iota sin theta. If we have minus sign like this we have to convert this minus sign into plus sign. Now we can apply De Morgan's theorem on this expression but we cannot apply on this and this expression. So first of all we will write cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power 5 and then this uh, cos 3 theta can be written as cos minus 3 theta then plus iota sin minus 3 theta raised to the power 6 because cos minus 3 theta is cos 3 theta and cos minus 3 theta is equal to minus sorry sin minus 3 theta is equal to minus sin 3 theta and in the denominator we can write cos minus 4 theta because it is equal to cos 4 theta and then plus iota sin minus 4 theta because sin minus 4 theta is equal to minus sin 4 theta raised to the power 7 and then cos 5 theta plus iota sin 5 theta raised to the power 8. Now we can apply De Morgan's theorem on cos 2 theta plus iota sin 2 theta. So this will be equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power 2 and this will be uh, and this raised to the power 5 then cos minus 3 theta plus iota sin minus 3 theta will be equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power minus 3 and this whole thing raised to the power 6 now cos minus 4 theta plus iota sin minus 4 theta can be written as cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power minus 4 and then whole raised to the power 7 then cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power 5 and whole raised to the power 8 now we can multiply this 2 and 5 so we have cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power 10 then cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power minus 18 minus 3 multiplied by 6 is minus 18 and then cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power minus 28 and then cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power 40 5 multiplied by 8 is 40 now we will apply the rule of indices so we have cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power 10 minus 18 plus 28 minus 14 and this will be equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power minus 20. Now again we will apply De Morgan's theorem so we will multiply minus 20 by theta so we have cos minus 20 theta plus iota sin minus 20 theta and cos minus 20 theta is equal to cos 20 theta 
एंड साइन माइनस ट्वेंटी थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस साइन ट्वेंटी थीटा एंड दिस विल गिव अस कॉस ट्वेंटी थीटा माइनस आईवटा साइन ट्वेंटी थीटा so we have seen how we can apply de morphs theorem on any expression in order to simplify that expression